over 13 hours on the water. <laughs> All right, it is almost one o'clock. Alec and I have finished our first lap of the day. We did it like, it was five hour and 38 minutes from put in to take out shore to shore. And it was a sick lap, super fast, super efficient. Now we just got back up, resetted. We're heading in for a second lap, stoked to finally get the double day. I've wanted to get the double day here since we came two years ago. And I'm stoked that Alec was fired up to do it as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a sick lap, stoked. 1 p.m., totally reasonable time to put on. But we're putting on for a second lap, so funny. You'll notice that I am not in the same boat as that first lap. The reason I didn't fly with my own boats over here is because I flew over with both clutch prototype. So trying to coordinate a time frame that we can actually go paddle these without being seen has been very difficult. Today just happened to work out where all the crews that are on the water are taking off this afternoon and there's no more crews putting on today. So it's the perfect opportunity for Alec and I to take the clutches down the Sakin, one day. Oh, I cannot even begin to describe how fired up I've been to get this on here. This lap's gonna take a lot longer, but we are gonna be wrecked by the end because we're gonna be playing around so much more. But it's gonna be so sick. This is the boat I've been waiting for, and this is exactly the type of place I've been waiting to take it on. Woo, let's go. Yep, this is going to be a good lap. I wish I could just paddle this every day out here. <laughs>
guard dog. In 2022, when we were here, the hole at the top was completely closed out. I scouted it each lap and decided it wasn't worth it, especially because it goes right into Tantzilla uh, slot right after. But in the last two years, year, whatever it's been, one of the rocks moves, and it now completely blows out on the left side of the first hole, which is great because now it's runnable, you just drive left. But there's two more holes after, and then he still have the rest of Tanzilla after, so it's uh, it's a stout one, but it's a lot of fun. It's nice not having to get out of your boat. <laughs> okay, so on our first lap this morning, I didn't slip until this rapid. I was like, oh, all the hard stuff's done, I'll be fine. Slipped here, which is the last big rapid. I am still going to go for the fun move, but I'm not going to let my guard down. I'm completing the no-slip lap. In two miles, just over 13 hours on the water. <laughs> huh? Well, that was an epic day. I'm too tired to do anything talking right now. I'll do this later. <laughs> <laughs>